Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, I've got two buttons here. One of them is going to download a PDF directly to my browser. One's going to open it in a new tab. Now, opening in a new tab is the standard. Somebody wanted to find a way of downloading it directly without opening it in a new tab. So if I click on this button, you can see the PDF is open down here. I'm using Google Chrome, so that's my default location. If I hit this next one, it's going to open up a new tab and you can download the file that way. This is what they were trying to avoid. They didn't want it opening in a new tab. So I found the answers on actually Elegant Themes blog here. And I'll put this URL below the video. And if we roll down about a quarter of the way down, we're going to find the little bit of code that we want. And it's just under turning your link into a Divi button. And we'll get back to this in a minute. OK, well, let's enable our visual builder and we'll build this. Once enabled, I'm going to go down and get rid of our PDF download down there. I'm going to add a new little section, the green button. New little row, I should say. Green button for a row. I'm going to add a single column. Inside, I could use a code module, but I'm going to use a text module for this today. Right at the bottom, we've got a text module. And there it is. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to delete the content that we've got there. I'm going to go over to the Elegant Themes page. Remember, it's the one that's under the turning your link into a Divi button. I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to hit copy. Control C. I'm going to go back to my text module. And before I paste it in there, I need to flip this to text mode. So it's not on visual, it's on text. And that's really important. Once it's on text mode, paste that bit of code in there. And voila, we've got a little button right there. Now you may be asking, why is that red with a blue hover color? It's because that's how I've got it set up as default in my Divi customizer. For anybody that doesn't know, if you go down to Dashboard, down to Appearance, and then Customize, I've already got mine open. It'll take you to this page here. If we look down, we've got buttons right there. And I've got my button style, as you can see, for red for the regular color. And hover style, I've got it blue there. That's the reason those are red and blue, and you can change them any way you want. Be advised, if you change these, it will change all of your default buttons. It won't change any of the buttons that you've done with custom styles. OK, well, let's have a little bit of a look at this code that we've got here. I'm going to stretch this out a bit so we can read this a bit better. OK, the first thing we got is a link to the PDF that we want to download there. So that's the first thing we need to do. So to get a link to a PDF, we need to upload one to our WordPress. Again, let's go to our dashboard. We'll go down to Media Library. Once that's open, we can drag a PDF up here. Left click, drag and release. Once it's uploaded, just left click on it. That'll take you to this page. You can copy the URL to the clipboard by clicking on the button, or you can just copy and paste the normal way. Now we've got that link, we can go back and we can replace the one that's in there. And it's in between the two sets of inverted commas. Make sure you don't cut those off. It needs to be inside those two inverted commas there. So I'm going to paste that in there, Control V. And we've got our new link. Next, we've got download equals new name. Well, that's the actual name that it's going to give this file when it downloads. So I don't want it to be called new name. Let's call it description. For anybody that's curious, it's just a draft of my uh, description for a YouTube video earlier on. Target blank, that usually means open in a new page, but we're not opening it in a page, so that doesn't matter too much. Class is ETPB button, which is a Divi button. And that's what the download link is going to say right there. So let's change that to download file, perhaps. Okay, 
We're a little bit stuck with the styling on this. I'd like to put it into the center. We can try a bit of CSS, but I think the easiest way to do this would be to use the design of the actual module itself. To do that, if we go to design, let's drop this down and we'll roll up, we'll go to sizing. I'm going to give it a fixed width. Let's guess at about 200 pixels. So in the width, I'm going to write 200 and then PX. That's okay. I'm going to start incrementing down until it breaks into two lines. There we are. Right around 172, 171. That's okay. So 171's fine. Now I can position it in the middle if I want to using the alignment there. And it's nicely in the middle of the row there for anybody that wants to position it. Now you can add custom styles by going inside it and giving it custom styles. Let's just make this a little bit skinny again. And to do that, you can go into your content. Again, you need to be in the text to see it. And right after the class button there, let's give it a gap and we can say style equals open two sets of inverted commas there and inside we can add any class we want perhaps we want it a bit wider so let's say padding top 15 pixels and we're overriding the regular styles so to override we need to use the important which is exclamation mark important as you can see it's added that to the top now if we wanted to add the same to the bottom just copy the padding top all the way to the end of the important. We need to put a semicolon on the end, make sure we can write another line. And we'll paste it just behind it and change the top to a bottom. Now we've got padding of that on the bottom and you can continue adding styles that way if you need to style it further. But for my ends, that's going to work perfectly. So let's save what we've got here. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. There's our little button. It should turn blue when I hover over it. When I click on it, it's going to download the PDF and the PDF is called description as we named it with the code there. And don't forget, I'll put this link to this page down below. And we've used the bit that's right under turning your link into a Divi button about a quarter way down the page there. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. I hope that's answered that question for you about how to download a PDF file without having it open. Of course, the other way would be to zip it up, but that just adds an extra step to it. So I hope you enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget if you have any questions, pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.